Oh yeah. What's up guys? Welcome back to this week's video. Um, so we are getting ready for the Texas shootout, which is end of the month. Um, it's down in College Station, Texas. And Maya's shooting as usual, and then I'm actually gonna shoot in this one too. So we're, we're both practicing. Um, for those of you who've followed along before in our practice sessions, we, we've kind of got some form changes on her, just addressing like a couple things that we were having troubles with. So uh, the first the first big one was we just, her draw length was a little bit short, even though it didn't look like it. You know, I just, she was kind of struggling getting into her anchor, so we got that fixed. And then, um, you know, what we were noticing is on some shots, this, this elbow was really coming you know, the wrist would kind of bend like like this, I guess. So I'll try and show with it the, the top. release like this. Yeah, and so that elbow would come down and out instead of up and back. And so we've worked on straightening the wrist out. And in order to do that, we kind of had to bring the elbow a little higher. So the shoulder is still low, but we brought the elbow up a little bit and then back more. And so far, it's been really good. Um, the misses aren't as big, and then it's just more consistent. Shots are breaking cleaner overall so we can, we're just gonna shoot a little bit film and shoot film and shoot it's just gonna kind of be like our practice session so follow along and so we're just we're just kind of blank bailing right now. Um, just working on execution. Come back from the rear. So should be able to kind of see right down her, her elbow here. Yeah, so before, now it's, it's up behind the ear. Whereas before it would be more over here, now it's like that. I can do a before. Yeah, show, show a before and a now and after. Yeah, so there's a before. Now that's our after. And that was improved with just a little bit of draw light. Yep. Yep. So one kind of, one of the reasons we addressed this was um, we were getting a lot of like low left misses and generally that's either from a right-handed shooter either dropping the bow arm or it's on that back half and instead of that release coming straight back, it usually comes like up and away from the face slightly. So like, you know, like this instead of there. And so we were getting these like weird low left misses even though everything else felt good. And so by getting that elbow up and back a little more, you know, then we, now we're pulling the release straight back over the collarbone instead of kind of pushing it up like that. So always remember the hand, or the elbow pulls the hand, the hand does not push the elbow, if that makes sense. Um, the back pulls the elbow, which pulls the hand. You know, lots of times as you hold, you'll feel, it's like, you don't feel it in your back, you feel it in the tops of your shoulder, like in your delt right here, and your bicep. And that's usually a good sign that, you know, you've got too much tension in your arm and you're, you're pushing it with your hand like this instead of pulling it with your back. So that's kind of what we've been working on to alleviate that, that low left or straight left miss. So. And the odd thing about these misses is it feels fine. When you break, it feels like you break clean and you won't really know that you're doing it until you start to see consistent misses and then someone will probably tell you that you're doing that. Yeah, you'll have two groups. You'll have one like right in the center and then one like low. on the eight nine line, like three inches low left, and it's usually just or further. Yeah, it's usually just 
you know, it's just a little bit of difference in the way that hand is, you know, it's coming here instead of straight back. So, um, a lot of archery is body awareness and it's really hard to yeah. know what you're doing if you repeat the shot so many times. So you have to make yeah. sure you have someone look at it. Yep. Shouldn't be grouping at 10 yards. No, not <laughs> with expensive arrows. So, so that's what Maya's been working on. What I've been working on is literally, I haven't been able to shoot as much this hunting season because all my days off and free time I've been hunting. Um, but I'm gonna practice more and more. So I'm really just working on, on execution and not hanging up on that, that back half. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set up the camera kind of facing both of us and we're just gonna shoot a little bit. Um, one thing I noticed too with me is I, you know, when I, sometimes I get this, this thing where my, the axis of my shoulders gets off so I'm here and I can tell as soon as I do that because my pin starts dropping. Um, and some of it is I think I just, I really pull, I think too hard. So I've been working on, you know, being solid in the back wall, but not like pulling the freaking wheels off the boat. And it seems to have helped with uh, just shot execution in general. So anyway, that's what I'm working on. So we'll set this camera up. You can kind of see what we're both doing here. I'm actually in the same spine. Did you actually? The other thing I've been working on is standing tall, so keep that head up over my spine and drop those shoulders. Helps hold a lot. Especially as I get more tired, if I'm really over aiming, I feel like I, I kind of scrunch down into it. And I can tell because my I feel more pressure on the tip of my nose and not as much uh, hand pressure on my face. So I've just been working on keeping that super consistent. I'm shooting all kinds of different arrows here because I misplaced like six of my pro comps. So I only have four. So I hope my new ones get here before Texas. You can't shoot a USA tournament with only four arrows. No. <laughs>
I'm so excited for indoor season to start. Oh, I hate indoor. Really? She loves indoor. Indoor is my favorite. It's the worst. You don't have to deal with the wind. You don't have to deal with the sun or the the clouds and the rain and everything else. All it is is you, the bow, and the target. It's nice. It's consistent. No one else can mess you up except for you. Another thing I've kind of been playing with is the position of my fingers on my release. So you've probably heard me talk about this before, but the importance of having just a soft, soft fingers and a, and a semi-relaxed hand. And for me, when I get too deep in the release with my fingers, everything tenses up and it's harder to manipulate it. Whereas if I'm a little further, you know, so instead of being here, I moved it to like here, which doesn't look like anything, but it feels a lot different. And, uh, it's really helped just kind of roll through that release. And I'm not actually, there's kind of two trains of thought. I like Jesse Broadwater's uh, analogy of like, imagine if you were hanging by your fingers on a uh, like monkey bar and you were just trying to slowly let that monkey bar slip through your fingers. So you're kind of almost relaxing more through your palm, not actually straightening your fingers, but just letting that palm relax. You know, that will get the release to start moving. Um, but it's important to have that kind of relaxed hand. So I've been working on that too, which I know I've always said that. I'm always working on that. But uh, again, when I don't, when I hang up, it's usually because I'm tense back here and everything is like in a death grip like that. Whereas if I'm just nice and relaxed, everything is soft. As I build, build tension, I just think about relaxing through the palm, stretching through the palm and just fires. So. But here's a side note, don't relax too much because yeah. you might throw your release backwards. Yeah. I started relaxing way too much in my hand and after I shot I would just throw my release and you don't want to do that. Yep. You, it's, People next to you will get mad. Yeah they will. <laughs> they really will. Your coaches will get confused. <laughs> relax enough but not too much. There's definitely a sweet spot. So we're really not focused on aiming too much. It's more, you know, how the arrow is fired. And then as you start, you know, shooting more and more, your practice sessions get longer, you get stronger. Um, then you can kind of focus on aiming that bow. But right now I'm just staring at what I want to hit, letting my pin float over it and just really focus on a clean release. Saw that. Pause the video right there and put like a like a screen of your face to just says Maya dropped her release right here. <laughs> Don't relax your hand too much. I've noticed that as my practice sessions go on and I get more relaxed, I tend to drop it more. Drop? The release. Oh, the release, yeah. Because I think my hand just gets tired.
Oh. I don't try to shoot groups. I'm not blank filling. It just happens. It's so hard to go from aiming at the yellow to not mm -hmm. aiming at the yellow. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys what I mean by a relaxed release hand. Go again. Okay. So if your hand is really tense, it's hard. If it's nice and relaxed, the back is flat and you just hook with the fingers, it gets much easier. So she draws, and then you can see how that she, yeah, she relaxes. So as soon as she starts to relax, it clicks, and then boom, straight off. So. Anyway, that's just kind of what we've been working on today. Um, I know it's not a super exciting video, but uh, hey, not all of archery is exciting. So, Most of it's not. Yeah. <laughs> so until next time, keep it in the middle. Uh, feel free to comment. Leave If you have any questions or, or comments, uh, hit, hit that comment section below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It really helps us out. And uh, we'll see you next time.